TrueNAS gateway to powerful and flexible storage solution. If you are new here to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Let's jump right into the introduction of TrueNAS. TrueNAS developed by iX system has a rich history as an open source storage platform from its root as a free NAS to the unified platform as it is today. Let's take a quick dive into its evolution. I have been using FreeNAS since 2009. Since then, it has changed a lot. Today, FreeNAS has become really a true NAS. Now, let me explore the different versions of TrueNAS. TrueNAS Core, the heart of open source storage, and TrueNAS Scale, a scalable Linux-based project. Each is tailored to meet specific needs. TrueNAS Core, the tried and true foundation, and the scale brings the scalability and flexibility to a whole new level. Which one is right for you and which version you should go for? Let me show you the comparison between three additions to this platform. The enterprise is consisting of the appliance and the software. These are all the enterprise solutions. Otherwise, if you want to bring your own hardware and if you want to build it by yourself, you can use either core or scale. If you have robust hardware, you can, of course, go for the core and scale and can install it by yourself. In the core, there is no high availability available, but in scale, you can build the high availability cluster. If you have TrueNAS Enterprise with appliance through controller or clustering, you can have the high availability. And if I talk about scalability, of course, you can do the scale up and scale out with the help of enterprise. And here you can, in core, you can do scale up, of course, scale up and scale out. You can do with the TrueNAS scale. And then here, base OS. So this is the major difference between the TrueNAS Core and TrueNAS Scale. TrueNAS Core is using FreeBSD. TrueNAS Scale is using Debian Linux. Debian Linux is, of course, supporting the virtualization also. So KVM and QEMU is available on TrueNAS Scale. You can, of course, have apps installed on top of your TrueNAS appliance. If you are using enterprise, of course, you can go with either Kubernetes or Docker. And here in core, you can have a wide variety of jails apps which are available for FreeBSD systems only. Kubernetes and Docker is not available. That is the major reason why one would go for the TrueNAS scale, not for the TrueNAS core. So the major difference in core and scale is that TrueNAS scale, you will get this flexibility. Now, if I talk about support, of course, with enterprise, you can have the enterprise 24 by 7 support available for the scale and core. These are, of course, the open source community support is definitely available with enterprise. You have the hardware which is provided by TrueNAS. So all the enclosure support is available depending upon what type of racking system you're using. So all of the enclosures will be available. These are all the R series, X series, M series, F series and so on. So you can have your own hardware also and you can get the hardware from TrueNAS without the enterprise support. So in TrueNAS Core, you have the type 2 virtualization which is available. It is not the type 1 virtualization. You won't be getting the benefit of hardware virtualization when you're using Core. But if you are using TrueNAS Scale, you will get the built-in KVM or Kubernetes depending upon what you want to have. So it has type 1 virtualization available here. And here, if you are using Enterprise, so you will get Citric virtualization, Veeam, vCenter plugins. Built-in KVM is of course there and Kubernetes can also be used. Core is not providing any GPU support. However, Scale is providing GPU support because you can have the third-party applications installed. You can have the Kubernetes and Plex installed here. So other file system protocols, these are almost all the file system protocols are covered here. R-Sync, which is one of the best synchronization tool, this is available in all the versions. Then iSCSI management is available on all three options however fiber channel is only available on enterprise then s3 compatibility is available in all the three options then if i talk about deployment services of course TrueNAS is providing the deployment services on TrueNAS enterprise however TrueNAS scale and TrueNAS core even if you are using the hardware from TrueNAS, you have to have your self-deployment from enterprise grade features to user-friendly interface TrueNAS offers a comprehensive storage solution whether you are a home user, a business, or have a specific storage needs, TrueNAS is designed to deliver on all fronts. Let me show you the different features. First of all, the file system. 
ZFS, which is Zettabyte file system. This is one of the best file system which is available right now. If I talk about built-in rate production, depending upon how many drives you are using, so it will be doing the mirroring accordingly. Z1, Z2, Z3, D rate. You can have unlimited snapshots and copy and write. Read write acceleration. Fusion pool is available. Encryption, of course, at rest and in the flight. Both type of encryptions are available. Replication, you can use ZFS send, receive, R sync, cloud sync, sync think and in case R clone also can be used. I use R clone as well. Inline compression and deduplication and thin provisioning. All of these options are available in TrueNAS. Alerting and reporting, you can use email alerts. You can use syslog alert. GUI dashboard is of course available so you can monitor the logs on real time and see what is the performance of this. And then of course, if you want to do the system management, SNMP is available. And even you can do the integration with the help of REST API where you can manage your TrueNAS. And also at the same time, you can see the reporting and you can have Active Directory services or Google two-factor authentication, LDAP, or even local users and groups can also be created. It supports almost all the popular cloud platforms. And of course, if any platform is not available, you can use R clone, which will definitely help you to connect to external cloud platforms. And then you can do the disaster recovery management with that. With the true command, you can manage the multiple system. So these are all the common features which are available in all three versions in case you want to see the TrueNAS core 13.0 features these are all the features which are available in TrueNAS core scale you can see details of TrueNAS scale so why it is popular here because you can have the storage system you can have the storage network then you can have servers and you can have virtualization all installed on TrueNAS scale so it is open hyper convergence that scales you can have kubernetes you can have dockers and you can also have virtualization TrueNAS scale is called cobia 23.0 TrueNAS scale key features administration so you can have the web ui snmp syslog reporting cli through rest api also you can do the access and privileges can be given client and application you can install the windows mac os linux unix ios android and you can access it using any device of course the web ui is available so through web ui you can access uh, application services there are various apps which are available you can install the virtual machines windows linux or any other operating system can be installed so active directory google two-factor authentication scale out scale in data management data protection data reduction so you can have the high availability management so this was all about the true nas features I've been using it for more than 14 years and I thought I must share my experience to make it easy for you to decide which NAS storage you must go for. I have covered all the relevant videos that will help you to understand which one is the best choice for you. If you found this video insightful, give me a thumbs up and share it with fellow storage enthusiasts. And don't forget to subscribe to more true NAS exploration. Until next time, happy storing.